Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will learn a little more commands as well as some very simple piece of code is going to be explained to you. All these are very easy and very interesting and I hope I will not take more than 5 minutes for the entire process to be explained. I open the console right now and you could see that there is a lot of content out there in the console. So let me clear it. Clear window option has been given and make sure you are in the right path. Whenever you are starting the console, whenever you are starting the work, make sure that you are in the right path so that you get no trouble. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a new script. There is where my script, my code will go in, but console is the place where I type the commands. I'm going to type a command DAR, but without a bracket, it doesn't work. DAR displays the content out there and you can see that the entire directory content is displayed out there. Now LS lists what are all the things available over there and you can see that the character was displayed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type a very small piece of function. The function name is first function as you can see here and this function will accept some input and the input will be found out with the square root of that input will be found out and it will be assigned to x and I am going to print it. When you put just x it is going to be printed. I repeat, I write a small piece of function. The function name is first function and what I do is I pass an argument y to it. I found the square root of the y and I assign the result to x and then I print x. Now what am I going to do? Very simple. I am going to paste it in the editor. When you type your script, it should go to the editor. When you type the command, it should come to the console. Now when I list it, see that I have got some content out here, but when I list it, it's zero. The character zero is being shown here. It is not right, right? We've got some content here. There is a function here, but it is zero. I'll talk about it more a little later, but now let's understand how do we go about it. Let's see if we can run the function. First function is the name of the function. I pass 100 as an argument, but what it says, I have got an error in the particular execution and I cannot find out the first function. This is not visible to this console. The console is not able to access the content which you have in the script. So it is not able to be uh, accessed and that's what is the point. Now what do we do? Very simple. I have another method to go about it. Now what I am going to do is now to avoid this error, I am going to completely see that copying the content, the function is copied completely and I will paste it in the console. So what I am going to do is I am going to take this complete content out here and I am going to paste this code into the console. So I have pasted it now and now what I am going to do is I am going to run the function. See that the earlier time when I called the function, first function of 100, it threw me an error saying that I could not find the function. But when I copy pasted the entire piece of script here and then I ran the function, I could get the result as 10. So it's working fine. Now is it the right method? Maybe it works fine, but it is not a preferred method. So what is preferred? I am going to tell about it shortly. Now see to that, I get the output and it's working fine. Now what am I going to do? Very simple. I am going to go ahead with ls. Now you see that when I listed earlier, it was having nothing and character 0 was displayed. Now I have got first function that is being displayed because I have copy pasted the entire content here and I ran it. That's it. Please understand the difference between when you are not running it appropriately and running it appropriately. When you run it appropriately, you get proper output there on the screen. Well, what is the next one to be done? You got more tasks to be done. We are just halfway through in the entire process of learning. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to make sure that I am getting into the right method of accessing this particular content. Let me change the name of the function and have fun is the name of the function. Now I have to access that function from the console. Now let me try running it. If I try running it, it won't work because the function is not exposed to this. So I have to save it first. Remember, I have to save it. Have fun dot capital R. So I have saved it as have fun dot capital R. Now when I list it, it should have listed that, right? But it did not list the have fun. It only lists the first one. Why it is not displayed, sir? Why it is not listed? The point is simple. I have just saved it, but I have not uploaded it properly or I have not connected it properly to the console. What do you mean sir? There is a command that helps out in getting this saving effective and this file should be sourced into the system appropriately. Now what do we do? I am going to source this. Though the file is available technically, it is not available for us to be run from the console. So for that to happen, I need to source it. Source have fun dot r is done right now and it's complete. Now, if I do ls, you can see that I have got both first fun and have fun. Both the functions are available only after you sourcing this. Without you sourcing this, it won't be effective. So understand that point. 
now sir can i run this file now sir can i run this function can i call this function yes we can call this function and that's pretty easy for us to do how do we do it very simple as usual have fun of 1000 or 10000 or whatever and i got the output right now have fun of 100 have fun of 10 you try it everything it will work the only thing that i want you to remember is you need to source it appropriately now sir can i add one more function to it sir can i add one more function to the same file sir yes you can do that and here i am going with the second function second fun i have got the second function name as second fun and where it accepts x as an argument and it multiplies x by 50 and i did not assign it to anything and i am printing it as such so uh, last time if you see i assigned the square root of y to x and i printed x but this time what i do is i print x into 50 right away so can we copy paste this content over there in the editor i did it i am going to now it is all properly done there now if you see when i list it you will not get the content out here for a simple reason that this is not sourced i have got two points to be done i'm just talking about the first point this is not sourced now let's go ahead with the first one i did not source it so i need to source this file appropriately because i have done some changes there now can we go ahead with sourcing process yes i am going to source whenever you are making changes you are supposed to source and one more thing has to be done i'll tell you that a little later source have fun dot r now when i do that we believe that everything should be right but it won't work see the way it is working now now when i list it it is still having have fun listed but when i run it second fun should also be listed the second fun is not listed it's just have fun which is getting listed which is the first function name but the second function name is not listed why we have sourced it appropriately it is not listed can i try out once more to see if things are okay i do a source again i am just listing it no it's not working why the reason is simple i did not save this file when you save it and source it only it will work now now i saved it and then i source it now when i list it now it is working fine see that second fun is all listed out there so whenever you make a change first save it then source it and then do a list to see if it is all listed properly and then you can run that you can run the function now that's what i'm going to do now i'm calling the function second fun of 1000 now when i multiply it by 50 i get 50000 as the output that's all we are done with it you can open another script and keep it you can combine you can run both the scripts together all this interlinking is also possible i'm going to tell you all that a little later but for now i have explained you the procedure as in how do we use ls command how do we write a function how do we source the function how do we add another content to it uh, all these are explained dar is explained i hope it was pretty useful and in case you have any questions suggestions please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be able to help you and uh, if you like the channel the content please subscribe and give me a thumbs up Thank you.